Whenever I come across new content, I always start by asking myself, "What exactly is it?" For programming, it is a set of instructions given to the computer. You tell it what to do, and it responds accordingly. But instead of using human language, we use code to communicate with the computer. It's the computer's own special language. Now I know some people might struggle to figure out which programming language is the best place to start, but just like our language, different languages have different ways of representing things. But do we really need to learn the entire language to know that something is an apple? Without any language, an apple still exists, and you can see, touch, and taste it. So let's use our own language. English to learn the basics of logic behind all programming languages is the best way to start and build a solid foundation. Talking about instructions, it is quite similar to how math functions work. A math function also has input or parameters. After calculating, you get the results. To visualize, imagine a function as a machine that takes input and processes it. To give you an output, it's like putting something into a calculator and getting a result. Now, in programming, instead of just numbers, we have different types of data that can pass to functions. First up, we have the null or void data type. It might sound a bit strange, but it's actually a thing. A function can have no input, just like a constant function in math. But it can be a bit tricky to understand a function with no output. In reality, these functions do have an output, but instead of a specific value, they perform actions like drawing a circle or moving an object. Next, we have numbers. You can pass numbers like seven or three point one four to a function. These are integers and decimals, and in programming. Decimals are often called floating-point numbers. Text or strings are another option. Whether it's a single character, a word, or even a sentence, you can pass them in. There is also a special data type called true or false. If you are familiar with computers, these actually represent binary numbers, one or zero, and are often called boolean. And guess what? There are even more data types like vectors, colors, and game objects in the game engine Unity. The power of programming function is truly remarkable. Maybe you are still confused about how a function works in programming. Let's break it down with a fun example. Imagine we are creating a calculator app. In this app, you have functions like add. If you put two numbers, the add function will add them up. And give you the result, but here's the thing: the result doesn't show up on the screen. We need another function called print to display it, so we can connect the add function to the print function, and the result finally appears on the screen. Now let's talk about how we get the user's input. Well, we use the input function. We input the first and second numbers into the add function. And the add function returns the result. Then we pass the result to the print function, and voila, the result showed up on the screen. Just like this, with input, processing, and output, we can create our very first software. And guess what? We learned about the non data type too. But a calculator has more than one function, right? To make our code easier to understand. We put our code in lines. We use the function's name to represent the function. We'll put the parameters after the function, and then send the result to the print function. Here comes a neat little programming line. Now is a good time to wrap up our day. We learned that a program is a set of instructions for the computer. A function is like a machine that takes input. Does some processing and return a result. We also learn about different data types and how to use them in programming. And the best part, 
we build a simple software using just three different functions. Next time, we'll dive into computer memory and variables. This will make our code even more readable and allow us to create even cooler things together. Stay tuned and see you next time.